Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an empties video. I actually don't have a whole lot, which is surprising. So if you guys want to see what I've used up in the past a month, then keep watching. Okay, so like I said in the intro, I actually don't have a whole lot, which is weird. I normally have so much. And this is about a month's worth of product. First up is this Not Your Mother's Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon Repair and Protect Leave-In Conditioner. This is good for damaged hair and it helps repair and prevent signs of damage. So I actually got this in an Influencer Vox box almost a year ago. I know. I know. It almost took me a year to finish this up and that's because Influencer kept sending me leave-in conditioners and I have so many. I have, like, think I have like four or five from Influencer that I have to use up and this was like one of the full size that I thought I would use up before the sample sizes and yeah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but I really, really liked this. It smells really nice. I really liked the packaging. I like this spray nozzle. I like that over here it has like the lock and close thing, the <laughs> lock and open thing, not lock and close. I'm tired but yeah I really like this I liked that it made my hair feel really soft and healthy I did if you guys remember like almost a year ago I had blonde at the end of my hair I bleached it myself and it was pretty damaged from that and I felt like this made my hair feel a little healthier and I will definitely repurchase this again the next empty that I have here is another influencer product. I got this in my Iconic Fox box. If you didn't see that unboxing, I'll leave a link for it down below. But this is the St. Moritz um, Wash Off Tan in matte. I think this was, I don't know if it had a color. But I really, really did enjoy this. I liked the tan that it gave me. It made me, it almost gave like a natural look and it didn't look too self-tan. It did wash off easily. It was easy to apply but very messy. I think if I really was interested in self-tanning, I would repurchase from St. Moritz again. I don't know if I would repurchase this particular one just because it is washed off and I feel like that's a little tedious. I'd rather have something that's, you know, gonna last me a couple of weeks and not just 24 hours. But it was a really good product and if you are looking for a not so, like, not permanent but a wash off tan that you only want for like one day for a special event or something i would recommend this next we have this char goals mask from pink or victoria's secret whatever i really did like this sheet mask it was really nice and really refreshing i love putting sheet masks in the fridge so they're nice and cool and i love using them on a warm day and putting them on my face and just feeling so refreshed and relaxed but this was really really nice um I don't know if it really helped clean out anything I don't remember if I had any I think I had like one little pimple on my face and it did kind of make it go away just a tad but other than that it was nice it made my skin feel nice and soft and smooth and the sheet mask was black which was interesting because I'm used to them being white and I would repurchase these these were nice Next, we have this Dove Shower Foam in Shea Butter with Warm Vanilla. I actually have been liking this way better than the normal, like, shower gel, I guess I would use from Dove. I like that it's foam, and I like that it has the pump because I can't see really anything when I shower because I can't wear my glasses or contacts in the shower, and I always get soap in my eye. So this is just easier because I can feel for it and then take my loofah and just, you know, pump it on the loofah so I really do like this and I like that it just fits in the shower easier and it lasts a super long time I think this is supposed to last it's 250 pumps in one bottle more than 250 pumps so it's definitely worth the money and I do like it Next, we have this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I actually really did like this. I liked to use it if um, I did a mask and my skin felt dry. I would spray this on my face and then apply, apply a moisturizer. I always say apply. I don't know why. I don't even think that's a word. Anyway, I liked using it for that. And I also really liked this as a setting spray. And I really, really liked it because it made my highlight really, really glow. So this is a really nice setting spray. This is only the travel size. I would recommend it though if you're into like higher end mists. Next up is this Biore Baking Soda Acne Scrub. I got this in my Walmart Beauty Box and a couple of the other products I'm going to show you guys are from the Walmart Beauty Box as well. But this is one of the products that I have used up. I really, really did enjoy this. It 
um, dried out pimples pretty quickly. It took like a day or two for the pimples to actually go away, but it did dry them out, I noticed, and I really, really liked this. I liked that it had the scrub. Um, did it smell good? It smells okay. It kind of has like a fruity scent. I don't know why. But again, I just really like this. I really do want to repurchase a full size when I need another scrub because this was so good. Next, we have my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. You probably don't even know that this is it because it has washed off. But this is one of my favorite primers, actually. I really do like this. It gives, like, a nice hydrating look to my skin. And it's just really good. I don't know what it is about it. I've repurchased this a bunch of times. And it's super affordable, too. It's at Walmart. So it's really good. If you're looking for a good primer, I suggest this. The one thing is the sprayer stinks it's like spits out at you so i like to just spray it in my hand and just pat it on my face and it's not really the best setting spray again it's a really good primer so i recommend this next we have this dove refresh and care volume and fullness dry shampoo this is another walmart beauty box item i really enjoyed this a whole lot it smelled really nice and fresh and it just really did add volume and that like refreshed look to my hair so i really really do like this i think this is my favorite setting spray setting spray dry shampoo that I've tried in a very long time and I really do want to repurchase this once I'm done with my OGX dry shampoo okay the next two items are also from the Walmart beauty box I thought I would just get those out of the way before I move on to anything else first we have this Afino daily moisturizing yogurt body wash with vanilla and oats and oh my god I love this my skin felt so smooth and clean after I used it it smells amazing it smells like vanilla yogurt <laughs> like the bottle says and it just smells so good and honestly I don't think I've ever tried a vino soap before so this I might have to repurchase one day as well because it is really good I actually want to see if they have a travel size because I am going away soon so I want to pack this in my little travel bag because I liked it that much. And the last Walmart beauty box item is this cute little sample here. And this is from Rock, R-O-C. I don't know how to say that. Um, this is a multi-correction 5-in-1 chest, neck, and face cream with sunscreen, broad spectrum of SPF 30. I really like this. This was a really nice face cream. It smells really good. It kind of smells like a man. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. Didn't irritate my skin and made my skin feel nice and smooth and soft. Um, I didn't really put this on my neck. I don't know why or my chest. I just don't know why. I guess because I've been wearing shirts that like cover my chest. And I just don't know why I didn't put it on my neck. But I really did enjoy this. I think I may repurchase this one day as well. Once I finish up my other face creams i also really i really liked that it had spf in it so i think i might just repurchase this before summer and use this as a day cream and use my other creams as night creams next we have this tart friction stick i got this a while ago in like a tart thing and i still have some left and this is why it's like a stick it's like a glue stick and once you start getting lower i don't know if you could see but right here there's this white plastic it rubs on your face and it hurts. It's not very comfortable having that rubbing against your face. So that's just kind of why I stopped using it. I did like this. You can use it as an ex as an exfoliator or as a mask. And I tried it for both and liked it both ways. But the packaging is horrible. And that is one reason why I won't repurchase this. Because I really don't like the packaging at all. And there's just so much left over that it's like... I don't know. I feel like using my fingers, it wouldn't get it out as good because you're rubbing your finger in and then it's rubbing into your finger skin and yeah. So I'm just not going to repurchase this, but I did really like it a lot. And then the last Tarte product is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. In my last empties, I think, I had a little sample of this and I really liked it. This is just a bigger size. They make an even bigger one I'm pretty sure but I really did enjoy this cleanser. I like cleansing gels a lot. I feel like they just remove your makeup better and they help just clean your skin better as well so this I would recommend this also is really really good for hydrating my skin I love hydrating cleansers and this was a really good one for hydrating my face so I think I might repurchase this one day I don't know it's pretty pricey but Tarte has sales a lot on their website so 
I might do it through there. And they are, I think they're also on Ebates as well. So, you know, if you get cash back for it, then you might as well, you know? And last but not least is this Benefit Bad Gal Lash Sample. I really like this. I really, really, really do like this. I actually have another sample that I've been using up as well. And it's a really nice uh, mascara. It adds a lot of volume to my lashes and makes it look like I have lashes, even though I really don't have a lot of lashes. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. I don't know how much it is. It's probably as much as like the Too Faced Better Than Sex or whatever. So probably in like the $20 price range. I haven't tried their new Bad Gal Lash. If any of you have please let me know is it better than this one worse than this one because I want to try it out and that is it for this empties I think this is the shortest empties I have ever had on my channel if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social media that's always in the description box as well if you guys have any video suggestions on any videos you want to see let me know in the comments down below or if you just want to leave a comment saying, hey, please do that too. And that is all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.